Let's talk about some assistive technologies. So, you know, when people come to our site to use our products, those that have disabilities are typically using what's called an assistive technology, whether that's a device or software. And there's a wide range of them that are important to understand because it's going to open your mind to some of the ways that people are interacting with your content and the user experience you're creating online. So here are some of them. We have screen readers. Now, this is probably a more common one that we've all heard about, but it's a program that helps the visually impaired understand the content displayed on the web page. So it basically converts digital text and labels and images and descriptions to something that is more readable by this piece of software. So you could imagine that they were, all they would need to do is press play and they could read like an entire block of text. They could read entire web pages. Something else people use are braille terminals. Now those who can't see that well or can't see at all use braille terminals and the round tip pins that come through the holes help blind people actually read and can see what's going on on the screen. There's also something called a switch or some sort of tap control, which basically is like a joystick or you can use the keyboard space bar to do this. But essentially, as you tap on your trackpad or your keyboard, it will help you to navigate the screen. Again, this may not be the best experience, but it is a way that people are interacting with various pieces of our content. And we really need to take that into account. Next, we have screen magnification software, which kind of works like a magnifying glass on the screen, as you can see over here. It's not like what you would typically see when you hit, you know, like a zoom on your browser. It's not that everything scales up at once, it's that the user has control over this little magnifier window inside of the software so that they can magnify certain elements or a section of the screen or a design of a website. And that reinforces the fact that, you know, all the elements of our design should be scalable. So you can see over here, he has this section actually magnified so he can read it easily. And lastly, what I have here are alternate input software and devices. As you can imagine, there's also speech input software, which is a lot different than Alexa or Google Home, but basically it allows people to control the computer with their voice. There's also devices like we see here with a keyboard and the gentleman over here is using a, a stick to actually type. So once again, we need to take into account all the different ways people are interacting with our website because it will affect the way we approach designing it and developing it.